Hi guys, Cliff here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I build my Grillo's uh, wing for my Spitfire. Uh, it's rather apparent free flight, just to remind you. I'm also going to show you how I build in some lightness into the framework to make it as light as possible. The lighter it is, the better she'll fly. It is rubber powered, so every gram counts. So without further ado, let's crack on and I'll show you what's what. Basically, I've got the centre part and the two outer wings and you don't set the dihedral until uh, all parts are built. So, so I'm going to start with making up these K1, K2. Let's get those glued up and drying, I think. OK, guys, let's turn you on to time lapse and we can make some progress on this wing. So thank you very much for looking in, as usual, and like and subscribe like below subscribe over there and bell icon over there and then you'll get informed whenever i upload a new video if you're not a subscriber it would be great if you could subscribe because for every subscriber i get i put 56 pence in a tin and then that goes towards my tiger moth flight so you're helping me towards that even though it don't cost you a penny it's my incentive for getting up to a thousand subs so brilliant thank you for watching and i'll put you on to I'll talk to you later after I've done this little bit of a time lapse video. Okay, guys, little interlude. Um, this is um, this is by way of a little uh, interlude, but a little note to James Murray. There's a lightning hole, James. <laughs> it's going to make a big difference. But uh, I put one in each rib. So anyway, it's going quite well. I'm going to um, glue the ribs in now. And uh, I've test fitted them all. They seem to all required a little bit of a little notch coming out of the back end slightly which was good anyway because it meant I could angle it to the angle of the trailing edge always good so I'll continue with the time lapse and uh, we'll talk again in a minute thanks for watching see you soon
there we go. Uh, one wing set up. It's looking pretty good. I'm quite pleased with that. Done pretty well. That's the starboard wing built. And tomorrow I'll take that off the board and make the center section. And then probably sand the wing. I don't know. No, we'll see. Maybe join it first. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Spaces, get rid of those. There we go. Beautiful. It doesn't seem to be too heavy, to be honest. I'm pleased with that. <laughs> it's pretty good. Okay. One in there. You know you've got a good joint when you see all the glue squeeze out equally or all the way around. So there we are guys, that's the wing um, weighted down and set in nicely. As soon as that's dry, I'll whip it off, put the bottom spars in and start carving the leading edge and sanding the trailing edge. Oh, I'll weigh it before I start as well, see how much weight we can get out of it. It's been a couple of hours. I think that the wing is probably dry enough to take off and put the bottom spars in. So that's what I'm going to do. OK, that is a thing of beauty. Obviously, it's not going to fit because I haven't sanded the leading edge yet. But look at that. <laughs> Fantastic. Let's just start and see how we get on. Oh, how therapeutic is that? Patience and playing. Playing the plane. All right, let's continue in the shed. Coming down pretty well. All right, guys, it's come down quite beautifully. About a sixteenth or less around there. It tapers up fairly, fairly uniformly along the leading edge. I'm trying to keep it on top of the spar without touching the rib either side until it gets down to the rib itself. So that's the wing. So I'm just going to have a go at the fuselage. Don't know if this block's a little bit overkill, but let's just have a little sand and see where we get. Not too bad at all. There we go. Get that one off. How's that looking? Rather, rather Spitfire-ish, I would say, wouldn't you? Yeah, nice, very nice. What I'm going to do is now to scallop the trailing edges.
that's the trailing edge roughly scalloped. I'll clean up the uh, corners of, with a round file just to tight, get in a little bit tighter to the rib. Don't have to, but I will. Hi guys, so we're back in the workroom and I'm going to now just quickly file these scallops and then that will be the wing finished and we'll weigh her up. So the file I'm going to use is just a little half round rat tail type file. I'm just going to round it up a little bit more. It's going to take a few minutes. I'm just going to take off that rough edge. I'll do it on the top surface as well. That's just about the wing finished. What I'm going to do now is to weigh it. So before, when I took the wing off the off the building board it weighed 26 grams and now it weighs 21 21 grams so I've saved five grams which you know it's not to be sniffed at how's the all-up weight going the all-up weight let's just pop the fuselage on so so far the structure is weighing goodness me what's that 41 grams 41 grams still got the undercarriage to go on all the plastic bits obviously the covering rubber motor propeller away quite a bit so 41 grams I don't know if that's good or bad <laughs> never made one before yeah thanks for watching Hit the like button down below, hit the subscribe button in the corner, it was Spitfire, and I'll see you in the next one.